something crazy? Yeah. yeah. What? All right, I'm gonna. No, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, so fast. <laughs> For the last uh, four days, we've been staying here at the S class. First room, it's a little bit dark because we got all the lights off. Um, but this is, it's got one, turn on a light. One, two, three beds, and then a window to downstairs, but the window actually fell out while we were here, so that was crazy. It fell out, it literally fell all the way down there, but it didn't break. bathroom and also a balcony as well so this whole place including all the Airbnb fees and everything for four nights was four hundred and twenty seven dollars so just over a hundred dollars a night for this huge place that has ten beds and six bathrooms room is nice okay so for this airbnb we paid because we got it for a week we got a 21 percent discount so it was 727 dollars and 23 cents for seven nights so just over a hundred dollars a night as well definitely some good deals to be had in chiang mai i would say you can get a really nice airbnb here Airbnb for a good price and also the food is really cheap so excuse my terrible camera work here I am just uh, still not feeling good I've had an upset stomach since we've been in Singapore and uh, I am just have not really been able to enjoy the delicious food here or really just have not been feeling good for the last week but hopefully I'll get better soon but anyway this is a nice place, pretty cool. This couch is basically like a bed couch. It's like two mattresses that they turn into a couch. Nice and chill, super cool idea. Really nice, really nice place. Totally enjoy it. So yeah, we'll have some cool stuff coming up soon. So we're gonna go check out this mall. Apparently there is really good food on the fourth floor. Apparently also the basement um, has really good food as well. So we're at the Maya Mall and we're gonna see what it's all about. You didn't solve it. You already solved it? Yeah. Uh, you're so freaking smart. I mean, you work really hard. All right, so we got the, I think it's called Khas Soy, or I'm not saying it right, but it's basically like a famous noodle dish from Northern Thailand. First, uh, first choice here. Alright guys, today is April 13th here in Thailand and this is the uh, beginning of San Kran, which is the water festival here in uh, Thailand. It's basically the, one of the biggest holidays of the year. It's where everybody kind of cleanses themselves and washes themselves for the new year. They wash the Buddha statues and um, also they spray each other with water guns and everything. And we're gonna participate in the world's largest water fight. Yeah.
are just parked out here. This is crazy. So this is uh, Neiman, or Neiman, or however you say it. And it's kind of like this hip part of Chiang Mai. And I don't know if they do this all the time or if this is just for San Kran, but they have all these really cool street vendors out and the whole area is just really, really neat. Jess is a sucker for for these type of things. She loves she loves these things. She's got about a million pairs. I do not. Okay, about ten different types. Just three. Literally wearing something like it right now. And she doesn't have any cash flow, but it's cool. <laughs> Alright guys, so there's so many restaurants here in the Neiman area, but over here by the mall, the mall's like right here, we're over here, I have no idea what this place is called, but we came to this little restaurant where even the name is in Thai, and all the reviews basically say this is where the locals eat, so it's just an outdoor little spot. And they had some uh, delicious looking pictures. So the menu's in Thai, but they do have a, they do have like a bit of an English menu. Um, and, uh, and they had pictures as well. So that was very nice. So we ordered a bunch of different dishes and we're gonna try out this restaurant over here in the Niman area, where I think it's pretty affordable and mostly the locals eat here. rice here. Right, this is hot. Yeah, not spicy. This, this is, so is the basil and I think it already got eaten up some. Thank you. Yes, thank you. The garlic. I'm gonna... The basil. So good. With the... Uh, Chili peppers. It's really clean. It's really good Thai food. Got into it, the kids did. I mean, they already ate it. Yeah, they got into it. Let me already try ate it. it. They already ate some of it. So you taste the coconut milk and the curry, but it has a like a turmeric in it. Yep. And it's really, it's more, it's like a a little bit more Indian kind of flavor of a curry than what you would get from a uh, like a southern Thai. A spoonful of chili. Eat one chili. They're pickled. They're not spicy. Yeah, they're like they're like. Uh, you gonna do it, right? Yes. What are you doing? Show us what you're doing. One of these peppers. Pepper. For a Pepsi. Mm -hmm. For a Pepsi, 
I'll eat five. Wait, I already had one in my <laughs> Did you chew it or just swallow it? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. He likes it. All right, guys, so we just finished eating here, and the total was only 485 baht for all eight of us to eat. We ordered six dishes. We got eight Pepsis and three waters. It equaled out to about $13.85 for everybody to have a delicious meal. In America, uh, to get Thai food, you're gonna pay $13, $15 for one dish, and we were able to eat the whole family here for less than what one dish would cost in America, so. Super great, uh, definitely recommend this place if you're here. They close at three o'clock, so you pretty much need to come for lunch, um, but definitely delicious, highly recommend. I'll go ahead and leave a link to the Google Maps spot for this place in the, uh, in the description, so be sure to check that out if you wanna find the place.